Listen, I hope that you have enjoyed this self-worth masterclass. I've offered this free because I just wanted to be able to help some young people. I wanted to post this up because I just feel a need to try to reach and give some tools to this next generation because a lot of these things that a lot of our young people are experiencing, what you're experiencing, um, you don't have to go through this by yourself. You're not alone. Many people have experienced this. Many adults are experiencing what you're experiencing. It's just that a lot of adults have not opened up and told you what's really going on. And that's why I just say, listen, and this, that's why I didn't want to really, um, it's not a real formal thing. You've seen me stumble over words, whatever. You see me just, I'm just trying to be myself. I just want to be able to connect with you just to tell you, give you these practical tools that you can take to help you. So I wanted to do this again. If you really, really, really want to go deep and you need some one-on-one mentorship coaching, please hit me up at saltershousecoaching.com. I will be more glad and willing to work with you if you want to learn music. I can help you with that as well. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Help me get the word out to as many people about this thing of self-worth. We need help. So many people need help. I'm just, I'm just serious. We need help. There is a, we're, we're in a dilemma right now where this generation, they're, they're constantly online. They're constantly comparing themselves to, to what everybody else is doing. And we have to get back to the place of just knowing that, listen, I don't, I don't, I'm not made to be everybody else. I'm made to be me. And this is what I wanted to provide for you in this self worth masterclass. So the last solution I want to give you. Um, and it's for me is something that has really did change my life forever is that having a relationship with God. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not here to try to preach at you. I'm not going to do that. Um, you know, I'm not here to try to convert you to my belief. I'm not here to do that. I'm just here to show you what has happened for me when I did this. And I can tell you that it was the game changer for all of the other things to start working. So at 17 years old, I pretty much gave my life to, uh, to, to God. And, um, I was at a birthday party that I threw at my 17th birthday party. And, um, that day I was, um, in a area during that birthday party and, and some guys from that area, like a gang from that area came to my party and they began to disrupt some things. So there began to be like a little fighting and stuff going on. And so after the house cleared out, after everybody was out in the street, these guys came back in the house to look for me, to shoot me, to kill me because I brought this birthday party over to their neighborhood. This was at my cousin's house. And um, so it was so much that happened that night. And um, normally when I do uh, speaking to youth and, and go to youth events and, and share, I normally go more in depth about that weekend. But for this class, I just want to let you know how I got myself over to God. So in this situation, I... I was scared, you know, that was kind of, I was at the, I was at the prime of, of being out there and, and trying to find my valid, get my validation from all the other things, from the popularity, from the girls and everything. And I remember that day, none of that mattered when I knew that my life was at stake. And I remember, uh, these guys came in the house looking for me and I was so, me and my friend was so scared. We went and jumped into the bathtub of the house of my cousin's house and the house wasn't that big. And I remember when they walked in the house, me and my, me and my friend, we were hiding in the bathtub with two girls who came to my party. They were in the bathtub hiding as well. So it was four of us in the bathtub. And these guys went into every room looking for me except the bathroom. I don't know why they walked right past the bathroom saying that they, where he at? Where he at? We go find him. We go kill him. And I'm in the bathtub praying. Which leads me to the last solution. I said, God, if you're real, cause I, did I believe? Mm, I heard about it. I, I heard about God and things, but I, I never believed personally. And I just said, if you're real, get me out of this, please. I'll go to church. I'll do whatever. And, um, those guys walk right past every room in that house. And the house wasn't big where there was, it, I mean, the dimension was like, you just go straight. And the, and the bathroom and the bedrooms was on the side. Everything was on one side. So they went past all those areas and went right to the back, uh, through the kitchen, came back through the kitchen and went right back through the living room and dining room out the front door and, and did not go to the bathroom. And I remember I ran out the back door and I was behind the house looking in the side of the, of the driveway, looking at all the people that I'm responsible for at my 17th birthday party, trying to be popular. And I'm looking at all these people. Now I feel like I got a little bit of self-worth and now I feel like, man, I'm somebody now. 
but my life was at stake and I didn't know if I was going to live. And that scared me. And, and I remember I said, God, if you're real, get me out of this. And he got me out of that. And I did go to church. I gave my life to God. And I remember after that, um, I still did not know my purpose. I didn't know my, what my identity was. So because all I knew was what I used to do back out in the streets. And with, you know, that was where my identity was. So now I'm on, I'm gave my life to God. And I'm like lost. I'm like, you know, I don't really feel all this stuff. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm all into hip hop, a heavy, you know, and, and into that heavy, heavy hardcore rap. And, and now I'm in listening to inspirational, you know, music about God. I'm like, I, I need, I can't, I just had, it was hard to make the connection. And I remember uh, I struggled a bit in the early part of being a, a believer of, of Jesus. And I remember that in this, um, you know, I started to miss. I started to have that self-worth problem again. So I began to, you know, though I was going to church, I began to yearn for validation. And I began to start going back and doing the same things that I used to do. In the, in the, in the streets and things like that, why I was going to church. And it was tough. And I began to feel very like, you know, I'm like, man, I felt like a hypocrite. Um, and I'm like, this is not, this is not how I was supposed to live. So I remember, uh, one day I, I really had an encounter with God that really changed my life forever. And, um, you know, one day I could share with you personally, if you ever hit me up, I can, you know, always do a one on one with you to share with you. But it was an encounter that really changed my life. And when I had that encounter, I've never felt like somebody, I, I never felt validated like I did at that moment. It was almost like the, the, the one who, who made me, the one who created me. I felt like he, he zoned in on me and said, you're not here by accident. I put you here for something specific. And if you yield yourself and give your heart to me, I'll show you exactly what I put you here to do because nobody else loves you like I love you. And I remember that's really what I was seeking. I was seeking to find a place where I fit in, where I can truly be my authentic self and feel loved at the same time. And it was in that moment that I began to say, wow, this is what I was looking for because I was getting validation from my friends and stuff, but I didn't feel that love, that, um, that real love, you know, and so. This is how I trans, how I gave my life to God. That was back in the day. That was uh, in 1992 that all this has happened. So you can see I'm age. I, I'm definitely uh, older. Uh, but this was years ago and I, and it changed my life. 1992 was when I had that experience, gave my life. And then, um, you know, in 1996 is when I had that encounter. Um, so that was four years after I get, went to church from that party. That party was in 1992. And in 1996 is when I had that encounter that changed my life. And it was in 1996 that I never went back. I have been a man of faith. I've been a man who completely loved Jesus. I love God with all my whole heart. And I can tell you right now, I have never felt so much self-worth. And the reason why I feel a lot of self-worth is because I see myself through his eyes, not mine. So all those other solutions I was telling you about as far as like be your own cheerleader and think different things like that, that became easy when I began to see myself through his eyes. My problem was I kept trying to see myself through my own eyes and it would get distorted every now and then until I got to the place where I really saw the value that that I have because of what Christ did for me. It was a game changer. So pretty much that's what happened. Um I realize that every person I have seen who have totally, and I'm not talking about, now let me clarify this. I'm not talking about people who's religious because there's a lot of religious people who still suffer with self-worth. I'm not talking about religious people. I'm talking about people who had a true experience with God when they really get to allow God to show them who they really are and find their purpose in life. It's a game changer. I promise you will not, you will never struggle with the self-worth thing again. You will actually be, you will feel so fulfilled in who you are that you don't have to look, you, I, I promise you confidence is going to come. So when I say knowing God, having a relationship with God, that was the game changer because now I know why I'm here. Now I feel so valuable. Now I feel like I'm bringing something to the table. I know my identity and the self-worth deficit that I was seeking all my life completely changed. It's like, I don't even have that issue is because I know who I am. And the reason why I know who I am is because I had an encounter with my creator. So I just want to encourage you again. I'm not going to 
I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just, I'm just sharing my testimony that this was a game changer for me. And it's been a game changer for thousands and millions of other people who have, t who gotten tired of trying to do it in their own strength. And so now it's so much easier now for me to wake up. It's so much easier now for me to love other people because now I love myself. I can love my neighbor because I love myself. And the reason why I can love myself is because the person, the one who has perfect love loved me first. So now I see myself through the eyes of love. And this is why now everything else looks different. My value, my self-worth look different. He blessed, ever since I gave my life to God, he has blessed me with the most gorgeous, amazing wife. He has blessed me with a, with a beautiful home, beautiful life, uh, beautiful uh, people of faith that I get to fellowship with, beautiful friends who love me. Um, it, it, it's, it's awesome the things that he can do for you when you give him a chance. So I just want to let you know in the close of this masterclass here is that if you uh, give yourself to God or you have a relationship with God, I'm telling you, that is going to definitely be the number one solution that is going to help you in the area of self-worth. Get a relationship with God. Even people who have not, uh, who don't believe like me, when they have put their faith in a higher power, they get, they feel a lot better. I, for me, again, I'm not here to, 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 to push my belief on anybody, but I will say this. Those who have truly, truly had a firm belief in relationship with Jesus Christ and relationship with God, their lives has been radically changed. I'm talking about really had an encounter life changed forever. And this is what I can tell you from personal experience from a guy who didn't even believe in God, a guy who, who went to church but didn't care and listen. I can tell you right now, there there is a level of peace you live with. You live at a level of where you, you really don't care. You really don't care about other people's opinions. I mean, they do matter. If a person says, oh, I mean, you're human, things will hurt you every now and then. But, but you get to the place where you, once you see yourself from his perspective, you start to say, wow, I do bring that much value uh, to to humanity. And that's what really seals the self-worth thing. So I just want to leave you with this. I hope all of the different solutions that I gave you in this really helps you. I want you to watch the video over and over again. Get it in your heart. I don't want you to, to suffer from a lack of self-worth. If you are, are struggling, if you have watched all these videos and you still need more help, please hit me up, okay? Because again, I am passionate about this. I'm telling you guys, you, I can, I can tell you some stories, some true stories of now I gave you an overview, but I can tell you some detailed stories in my process that will have you laughing. So again, when I go out and I speak to youth events and do things like that and I share these things, they be dying laughing. When I do things with one on one coaching, they die laughing because it's so many pieces to this. This one, I just want to give you some tools to take. Um, definitely the last two for me has been the game changer and having a relationship with God and knowing God has been the game changer. Definitely you got to get, uh, get you some new friends. You know, even if you have to be alone for a little season, <laughs> it's better than having toxic friends. You got to get to the place where you find some good mentors. You got to get to the place where you know that you're different. You are different on purpose. You got to look at all of these different things and you got to really start to say to yourself, listen, I'm going to take these tools. And I'm going to start applying to my life because I know that I am worth something. And I can tell you right now, you are so valuable. I am blessed to be able to talk to you because I understand that whether you see it or not, you bring value. You just probably haven't seen it yet, but I promise you, you bring a lot of value and you are significant. All right. So again, I thank you so much for joining me with this masterclass. Again, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, like, and share because I want to help as many young people as possible with this message. All right. Listen, there's some other videos on the channel. If you would like to go through, enjoy some music, enjoy some other teachings. I hope that you are blessed. I am Nathan Salter. I pray that you have a blessed and amazing day and I will speak to you all soon. Peace out.